Welcome, everybody. We are here today on our Wellness and Weight Loss Wednesday show, where today we're going to be talking about a new intermittent fasting study. This one was actually done very interesting. I mean, like, this is a very new cutting edge study that I want to share with you where not even all of the details are out yet. I was able to dig deep and find many of them for you, but this study, why it's so amazing, why I had to bring it to you is there was essentially a 50% reversal of type 2 diabetes in just three months with a three-month follow-up and even looking down the road years to see if it was maintained. So it's pretty remarkable. It's, it's certainly... Um, I don't know that every single person out there is going to want to follow this, and that's why I'm going to do a subsequent follow-up show that makes this much easier to actually implement in your life, but it's worth knowing. It's worth knowing no matter what, and this is one that you need to keep an open mind to because the truth is this, is that most people are not going to believe they can eat a high-carb diet and reverse type 2 diabetes. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go through it. I'll explain it all, and I'm going to do a big follow-up on this as well. All right, this was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. Uh, let's see, it was published just about uh, three months ago, and I'm going to give you what is published, in the full study with all like the entire study, it won't even be out for another three or four months. That's typically how it works. I was able though to dig deeper and actually find out what they did because um, I, I had to figure this out. I want to share it with you um, and it's it's pretty wild. So here it is. The They wanted to judge the effectiveness of intermittent fasting and diabetes remission and potential remission durability. But it wasn't just with intermittent fasting. They actually did it with a specific diet and specific foods called Chinese medical nutrition therapy that I'm going to explain this week and then get much deeper next week as well. All right, so here's the methods. And I'll link up the studies as well. So if you want to get to the studies, it's just episode uh, 2609 today, stephencabral.com forward slash 2609. I'll I'll probably link up all three studies that I was able to dive in because um, there are a few published Let's see, on the Good Clinical Practice Network. Yeah, I'll I'll link them all up for you. So here's the methodology, the methods of the study, and then I'll explain exactly what it means. Participants between the ages of 38 years old and 72 with a duration of T2D, all that means is type 2 diabetes. Uh, They had it from 1 to 11 years and a body mass index of 19.1 to 30.4. That means basically they were at either a healthy weight or overweight. They bordered on obese. That's what that 30.4 is. Uh, Overweight is from 25 to 29.9, essentially. So it's basically normal to overweight. 66% of the participants were male. Um, They used some anti-diabetic agents and or insulin, uh, were randomly allocated at a ratio of one-to-one to to the Chinese Medical Nutrition Therapy Group. Wait till you hear these results too. So basically, um, half got the anti-diabetic agent, such as like an insulin or more. And... um, or they had a control group. So the primary outcome was diabetes remission, right? That's what they hoped for. Defined as stable glycated hemoglobin A1C at less the, uh, at a level of less than 48 uh, millimoles, and basically equating in the U.S. to 6.5%. Let me, let me stop actually for one second to explain this because it might sound like too much medical jargon. So basically they take a, took a group of people between uh, 38 years old and 72. They had three different groups. They had one uh, on diabetic, diabetes-based medication. They had one on uh, Chinese medical nutrition therapy, CMNT, and they had a control group. The goal was to basically see, hey, can we get rid of type 2 diabetes? Can we put type 2 diabetes in remission? Which, by the way, it doesn't mean it's in remission. It means it's actually gone. It means you don't have diabetes anymore, right? You don't have type 2 diabetes. Okay, and type 2 diabetes is typically signified by a hemoglobin A1C above 6.5 and oftentimes fasting glucose blood sugar levels of above 126. And they were looking to make sure that this lasted for at least three months after the study, right? And after discontinuing medication. So that was the goal. And um, here's here's the results. So on completing the three-month intervention plus three months of follow-up, so basically there was a three-month intervention of the Chinese medical nutrition therapy and then three months just to say, hey, are we going to maintain, right? That's, that was a three-month follow-up. 
Check out the results. 47.2%, 17 out of 36, of the participants achieved diabetes remission in the Chinese Medical Nutrition Group, whereas only 2.8%, only one, literally only one individual out of 36, of individuals achieved remission in the control group, uh, which you know, makes sense. It's just kind of like everyday population, right? Uh, the means body weight of participants in the Chinese medical nutrition group was reduced by 5.93 kilograms. Let's call it six. Let's call it about 14 pounds, right around there, uh, 13 to 14 pounds, compared to only 0.27 uh, kilograms. I don't know, well, it's 0.27 kilograms. It's uh, basically a quarter of 2.2 pounds, right? So let's call that a half a pound, 0.6 pounds, somewhere around there. All right, so somewhere around 13 and a half pounds weight loss to a half a pound weight loss in the control group. After the 12-month study, 44.4% of the participants achieved sustained remission. Only one didn't, by the way. So literally only one individual who followed the Chinese medical nutrition uh, therapy didn't uh, maintain. That's it. I mean, that's because like you can say, oh, 44.4. Well, it's only one, right? It went from 47.2 to 44.4, but that's one individual. That's it. Um, and they, with a hemoglobin A1C of uh, 6.3. So they basically reduced it. Uh, who knows? The beginning of the study, they even shared that, but it was greater than 6.5. The medication costs of the CM new and T group were 77.22% lower than those of the control group. So uh, they spent $60 a month versus $265 a month. I mean, this is, this is pretty remarkable. And um, I want to share with you now exactly what that means and how it was conducted because even just a few weeks ago, that's all you could find. But what happened was they basically, using this thing called Chinese medical nutrition therapy, which I had never heard of before. Keep in mind, I studied in a traditional Chinese medicine hospital in old Beijing. Now, it was a while ago, don't get me wrong, uh, but that was one of my internships. And it literally was called the traditional Chinese medicine hospital of Beijing, and it was in old Beijing. Um, and, I mean, great, it was a great education, all of these things. Needless to say, I, I've not heard of Chinese medical nutrition therapy, so I went deep. I'm like, let me see if I can find it. And just some things just started to pop up. And here is exactly what they did because they did not tell you what they did in order to create a remission of 50% in type 2 diabetes. Okay, so this is what it was. Let me give you this, the summary. Uh, the Chinese Medical Nutrition Therapy Group was instructed to consume the provided CMNT diet, and I'll share what that is in just one moment, consisting of six cycles of five consecutive days followed by 10 days of ad libitum food consumption. Participants received a 917 calorie a day pre-prepared human Chinese medical nutrition diet, which was 45, I'm gonna give you the rounded, 45% carbs, 9% protein, and 46% fat for five consecutive days per cycle. Okay, what does that mean? It means they ate about 900 calories, so very low calorie, all right, really low calorie. They did that for five days in a row. And then for 10 days, they ate whatever they wanted. And then five days of these specific foods that I'm gonna share with you. It's medical food though, it's not even just regular food. And then 10 days of whatever they wanted. And then they repeated that for two more months. So basically twice a month, two five-day periods per month, hypocaloric, that means low calories, only 900 calories, all right? Now, you might say, well, what were they eating during those five days? I'm gonna read it to you right now. It's gonna seem a little wild. Not a lot of people would do this. However, would they do it if they knew that their odds of going into type two diabetes remission were, you know, fantastic. We're about 50%, right? We, we can do better though. I know that we can do better and I, that's why next week we're gonna do better, right? Because I've done this in my own practice. Again, I can't say that I'm curing diabetes. That's illegal. I wouldn't give you medical advice. I would never give you medical treatment plans, medical cures or medical diagnosis. I would never do that. But um, I can share some things that 
you may want to look into, right, and put to the test. We'll do that next week. For now, we need to look at this because it does work. The science is showing it does work. It was against a control group. The control group, it didn't work. This group, it worked, right? They lost on average like almost five, four, well, four, let's say four and a half pounds a month as well. Not great. You know, we can lose four and a half pounds in a week. But, um, but nevertheless, this worked. And so let's look at it. Okay, so... Their participants received the 917 calories a day. It was proportioned for the 45% carbs, 9 protein, and the 46% fat. So again, this is a fairly high carbohydrate diet, right? Very low in protein, high carbs. Most people say, can't lose, can't lower your blood sugar on a high carb diet. Well, they did it. And so that's why, again, we have to be careful because a lot of this is you can achieve a lot uh, just with hypocaloria, like just basically a hypocaloric diet. Okay, so... Here's what it was. It was the CMNT, so Chinese Medical Nutrition Therapy Diet is composed of four ready-to-consume prepared foods, including composite nutritional rice, solids, beverages, still trying to figure out what they mean by solids, beverages, meal replacement biscuit, which I know what that is, and fruit and vegetable gruel, mainly from whole grains and traditional Chinese medical food Plants. I'll explain the plants in just a moment because I think they had something to do with it. Okay, so they basically had a, it's like a macrobiotic, macrobiotic diet almost. It's not exactly, but you'll st stick with me here for a moment. So besides the solids beverages that I'm still looking into, I'll try to find more information for next week, but it's not fully out yet. They had this nutritional rice. So there's basically um, enriched rice. Then they had a biscuit made from whole grains most likely just wheat. Then they had uh, fruit and vegetable gruel that they would mix in with their rice. And so, I mean, like it's pretty close to what would be a macrobiotic style diet. It's not wildly off. That biscuit's a little strange in there, but you know, this is like, this is inexpensive, cheap that they're calling medical food. This is very inexpensive. And they, that's what they gave them. So four ready to consume prepared foods, composed, uh, of a, including a composite of, and they just gave you what they were. And so they did that every day for five days. They're like, oh, you know, like, I really don't want to eat this, but I'm either a paid participant of the study or I want to lower diabetes or whatever it might be. And so they did it. And then they, 10 days of eating whatever they wanted, which is remarkable that they still were able to get the results going back to whatever they wanted to eat. All right, so now let's get into the plants they use because uh, this is not well known. I had to actually look up what are the Chinese medical plants that they use. Well, specifically, they're herbs, and I want to share them with you. So uh, they're, they were all in Chinese, and I just, I'm just i giving you the translation, okay? Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I will give you the Chinese herbal name. So if anybody's a TCM practitioner, fantastic. I will give you exactly what they are. But the first one was a wild yam. So it was a yam-based, and don't think like sweet potato. Think yam like the leaf. So wild yam-based uh, herb. The second one was Luhan. A lot of people may know of that as a sweetener, basically more of a natural based sweetener, but these have many different uh, uh, yin and yang based or yin and yang based balancing principles. That's what a lot of these are. The next one is mulberry root. Uh, the next one is kudzu. We actually use kudzu in one of our um, estrogen progesterone support products. The next one was wolfberry, which is very similar to a goji berry. And the last one was a mushroom called fu ling, fu ling. And again, I apologize if my pronunciation is off, but that, those are the herbs that they used. Now, a lot of these, uh, some of them are very, quite popular in traditional Chinese medicine and some not as popular. Many of them help balance uh, what's called yin and yang in the body. So basically balancing energy principles within the body. And some, of course, work on balancing blood sugar and glucose. So they did actually use glucose-supporting herbs. And I think that that's important that we'd state that in the study. They supplement, they used a supplement, right? An herbal supplement. We use a product called, I think, daily glucose support that is not wildly different to a lot of these things that people use. So I don't use this one, but I use daily glucose support, and that seems to be um, tremendous, and the science backs it up as well. Okay, so what do they do? Basically, 900 calories a day, eating a few times a day with this um, 
Chinese medical nutrition therapy diet, then 10 days of what they wanted, and then continuing to repeat. So you could literally create a diet like this. I'm going to help do that next week for you that may be able to mimic this while also then using blood sugar, healthy blood sugar balancing herbs as well. Again, we are not treating diabetes here, but I really believe that we can do even better. I know that we can do better because I've seen better happen in the practice, but this works. So if you're just someone who says, hey, listen, like I want to see the science. I want to see the study. Here's a study. Basically, it put half the people in remission in only 12 weeks. And they really only did a five, a five, a five, right? They only did uh, half of the month, not even. They did one third of the month, right? 10 days out of the month, they ate this. And 20 days, they didn't. And that's pretty remarkable. So even if you wanted to do that, you'd still get those results. Now, they did use intermittent fasting. There is no data yet as to how long these people fasted. They do not state that anywhere in the study. I'll be following up with that. But rest assured, it's most likely between 12 hours and 16 hours. And that's because 12 hours is categorically... um, equated to equal intermittent fasting, meaning like less than 12 hours, we wouldn't call it intermittent fasting, right? Uh, More than 12 hours, still intermittent fasting. So um, it probably 12 to 16 hours, most likely. That's what most people do. And a lot in these scientific based experiments, they're not having people go uh, 18 to 23 hours of the day fasted. So wanted to share that with you. Found it really interesting. I'm going to link up the trials and the results here so you can check it out for yourself. And then definitely stay tuned next week because I'm going to give you a hopefully comparable diet to be able to follow, one that I think that you can get even better and faster results on, that we don't need to take 10 days off after every five because we can make it more normal. And we'll give you some herbs as well to use too. So really great. But again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't follow this or saying do follow, right? You, You be the judge of what you think is best. All I want you to know is that type 2 diabetes can be reversed right? It absolutely can be. And that 6.3 they ended on, well, if you continue on with this or another, you can continue to get that lower and lower. So always have hope, always believe you can absolutely do it. Thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate you tuning in here today. Take care. And again, for all the show notes, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2609. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.